Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create and connect to AWS EC2 instance for CentOS 8 operating system. I have connected to my AWS management console. Click on services, then search for EC2. EC2 is nothing but Elastic Compute Cloud. Click on EC2. See, this is the EC2 dashboard. These are the resources, launch instance and other options. At present, I have three instances running. Volumes 3, KPS 3, Security Groups 8, Elastic IPs 0, Load Balancers 0 and Snapshots also 0. If you want to create an instance, click on this launch instance or click on instances. Then click on launch instance to create new AWS EC2 instance for CentOS 8. See, I have three instances running. See, instance state is running. Instance type T2 micro, availability zone, public IP, DNS, public IP, address, and elastic IP, and other options. Launch time. Launch time is nothing but the created date. Now, click on launch instances. Now, we are creating instance for sent OS. Sent OS 8. We have Amazon Linux, Ubuntu, Windows, Red Hat, Susu Linux, Mac OS and Debian. But we are unable to find here Sent OS. So in this case we have to click on this Browse More AMIs. AMI is nothing but Amazon Machine Image. Click on Browse More AMIs. See here also we are unable to find Sent OS. Even if you search send OS, we, have, we found zero results. So now click on this AWS market AMIs. Then search for send OS and press enter. See, we have sent OS 6, sent OS 7 and sent OS 8. Okay, clearly sent OS 8. Select this AMI. See the details and click on continue. See, we have selected CentOS 8. Catalog is AWS published on 2020-10. Architecture x86-64. Virtualization HVM. Root device type is EBS. Instance type, by default it has selected free tier eligible. We have different ranges. If you want 4 CPU and 16 GB memory, then select T2.x large. If you want 2 CPUs and 8 gigabytes memory, then select T2.large. Based on requirement, you select any one of them. If you select more RAM and CPUs, charges will be more. Now, key pair. What is key pair? We can use a key pair to securely connect to our instance. Now, click on create new key pair. Provide the name for this key pair. Send OS. 8 key kp kp means key pair key pair type is rsa and private key file format is pem then click on create key pair see it has downloaded the sent to os 8 kp.fem file we have to use this file later now next network settings see the options here network vpc default vpc subnet also it has selected my subnet rhl Auto assign public IP. We will add this one. Security groups. It has selected create security group. Or we can select existing security group. See, we have these many security groups. I don't want to use the existing security group. I want to create new security group. If you want to name the security group and auto assign public IP, then click on edit. Here it has by default it has selected auto assign public IP disabled. I am going to change enable. Then security group, I am changing it as security group for CentOS 8. See here type is SSH, protocol TCP, port range is 22, source type anywhere or custom or my IP. I am going with anywhere. CIDR00 means there is no limit. Then 
configure storage. By default, it has selected 10 gigabytes. We can give up to 30 gigabytes of EBS general purpose SSDR magnetic storage. Here I am giving 30 gigabytes. Root volume type is GP2. If you want, you can select any one of them. I am going with defaults, but I have changed storage or volume to 30 gigabytes. If you want add new volume, click on this add new volume and provide the volume information. Advanced details. See, these are the all advanced details. If you want go through them based on the requirement, you provide them. Last one is the user data. Here you can provide scripts to execute after the AWS instance has been created or launched. Now right side here, look at this summary. Number of instances 1. If you want to create 2 instances, you can give 2. Software image, virtual server type, firewall or security group. Notice here, security group, it is showing as new security group. But here we have given SP for CentOS 8. No need to worry, this will be changed once this launch instance has initiated. Volume, storage volume 30 gigabytes. Then click on launch instance. Click on details to see what's happening. See, subscription to your AMI is taking longer than the expected. Click on Reload. See, CentOS has been created and its instance state is running. We have to wait until this status check to be like here. That is, checks passed. Okay. Refresh again. Its a state is running. And instance type is T2 micro, availability zone is ES East 1B. This is the public IPv4 DNS and this is public IP address. Security group has been created and this is the instance launch time. Reload, wait until this initializing to be changed as checks passed. I am pausing this video until this status check to be changed. Click on this instance ID. We will see the summary. Instance summary, instance ID, public IP, then private IP, instance state, this is public DNS, host name type, private IP DNS, instance type, auto SN public IP address, platform, sent OS, platform details, Linux and this is the AMI ID for sent OS 8. Go to instances. See, now status check has passed. Now click on the instance, then click on connect. Click on connect. See, it has failed because Then click on SSH client, then copy this connection string, then open command prompt, cmd, then we have to go to this pem file downloaded location. This file is downloaded to my downloads, cd downloads, otherwise it will throw error. Let me show you the error first, then we will navigate to downloads direct type y s and enter see it got failed because permission denied now change the directory to downloads now paste the same command see we have successfully connected sent voice and this is the private ip let's go to see this is the private IP. Here also it is showing private IP. Let's verify the whether this is sent OS 8 or not. More slash etc OS hyphen release. 
see we have connected to CentOS Linux and its version is 8. You can also connect by using git bash. Open then go to downloads directory cd downloads then copy this connection string paste here and press enter. See we have successfully logged in. Again verify here also more slash etc os hyphen release. See we got the same output as we have seen in command prompt both are same. You can exit from send voice by typing exit. Now we are into windows the same way here also we can exit. Now go to instances if you want to stop this instance select the instance and click on instance state then click on stop instance. If you want to reboot click on the, this reboot instance. In this video we have seen how to create and connect to AWS EC2 instance for CentOS 8. Then we have seen how to connect to CentOS 8 from the command prompt for more AWS and AWS or cloud or Linux videos. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you.